I'm joined now by David Nixad, founder and CEO of Orthogonal Thinker Inc. David, welcome. Thank you. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Uh, David, tell <laughs> me, what is an orthogonal thinker? Orthogonal thinker is somebody that can understand that you can only push so hard and then you have to have a discipline to surrender and it's that mindset of also understanding that dumb luck and the universe doing the heavy lifting will all come together in execution wow that is going to be that's going to be tough for a lot of people to assimilate <laughs> who have not actually sam sampled uh, psilocybin if you if you sampled psilocybin that immediately makes perfect sense I mean, really, it's like, of course, duh. Um, okay, so what is your business? Well, I would say just to start out with, I think that I'm sure our lawyers would love to hear this. You know, everybody that is looking at working in this area really needs to do everything according to the letter of the law. And I think uh, that's important to, you know, really let the public know. You bet. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. That, that, goes, that goes in the other column from the column that I used to operate in, which was the only crime is getting caught column. <laughs> totally. Yes. And, and, I, and, I, and I think just like cannabis, uh, uh, it's going to be a roller coaster ride to see a lot of people in the black market go, you know, come to the compliant side. Sure. Sure. Well, it's so much easier to uh, obey the law when the law accommodates uh, s s exploration. Yeah, totally. And I, and I think we are there. I have actually 122 decks right now of companies that are what I would call in drug discovery. But I, I sometimes wonder, do they really have anything and do they have any relationship with the medicine? Sure. OK, so what is the business of Orthogonal Thinker? What we do at Orthogonal Thinker is one nutritional alkaloid that we work on is obviously psilocybin or psilocin, which is actually the, the product that psilocybin turns into when it hits the bloodstream. But in general, we look at whole plant alkaloids, specifically looking at what we would call super compounds or compounds that give you cognitive perception. So we've identified that there's probably 2,000 botanicals on the market that have some sort of alkaloids that can be put together and create different neurogenesis products or products to allow you to operate at this limitless level. Wow, that sounds, I, I'm just so excited about that. I can't tell you, like, I'm, I'm just stunned. Are you kidding me? I am going to be a, I'll be a guinea pig, a quality control guy, a tester, a uh, supporter. I mean, I've got to come, I've got to come and meet you in person. That sounds amazing. Um, I, I, okay. I would love that. Yeah, definitely. We're going we're gonna to do this. Um, okay, so tell me, uh, who is your target audience? I mean, our, our, our target audience is ourselves. I mean, the way that our, my co-founder and I got into this was out of necessity. I've always dealt with my own issues of dyslexia and, you know, what the humanoid race calls ADD and ADHD, as well as depression. And I really got into these type of products out of necessity. I spent uh, almost 30 years of my life self-medicating on red wine and cannabis. <laughs> and as much as, yeah, as much as I love cannabis and I love to smoke really good, you know, Hawaiian joints, um, I was never getting to the root of the issue and what I would call peeling the onion. Hmm. And really got into this out of necessity after I moved to Hawaii and it was almost like a veil was taken off of people that had been living off the land and working with multiple different nutritional alkaloids. Right. I often envision myself as an alien visiting from a far superior race in a far superior planet <laughs> and them sitting out in space and looking at us all stumbling around down here, destroying our ecosystem. And they're thinking, what a bunch of morons. Like they're ignoring the powerful plants with all the lessons in them and making them inaccessible to all the people who need them the most, while the people who are leading refuse to consume these products and learn the essential lessons of the universe. And that's the reason why this planet is in the condition that it's in. And they're just sitting there thinking, we would rate it, but really we don't want anything to do with these people. And so it seems to me that somehow these plants have insinuated their power despite 
the ignorance of humanity and are now forcing themselves onto our consciousness because they perceive our desperate straits more than we do. And so we're seeing the laws sort of move in a direction that brings these plants closer and closer to the minds that need them the most. And so my question, long-winded preface that that is, is... That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Walt. I, was, I, 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 had the, I had the same download pretty much every day. Right. Well, it's, it's <laughs> like, I'd like to take credit for it, but it is the plant speaking from, from my entire history. So the plants, I mean, this is the interesting thing. Do you think that we're moving into an era where the increasing friction among the various energies that permeate the multitude of layers in existence are causing this sort of plant, sort of the plants to revolt in the background and say, wow, okay, well, it was fun to watch from a distance, but now we got to step in and take control. But so it seems like there's a renaissance underway, a revolution is underway. It seems that the leadership in the form of government that we now suffer from could become obsolete if everybody was to become conscious and aware and really sincerely, emphatically, uh, you know, empath empathetic towards one another. I mean, that's really the ultimate evolution of what a human being can be. And I still haven't asked a question. I realize that, but oh, so yeah, I mean, whatever everything you're everything you're saying is like. I feel like you read my journal of the last 11 years. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty incredible because you actually, you get it. You, yeah. you peeled the onion, you get it. Well, believe it or not, this role that I'm in right here is me acting on behalf of the universal consciousness in an undercover fashion. And normally I wouldn't blow my cover like this, but clearly I'm dealing with another warrior <laughs> from close to the same tribe. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm pretty sure that nobody's going to, everybody's going to go, what the hell is he talking about now? And so I, I'm, I'm all good. And we don't have targets on our back yet because we're viewed by, you know, the forces that be as harmless idiots. And so great, we get to actually well, save the world despite itself. And, uh, you know, great. Um, so how soon is this going to be actually available to the general public, the experience and the lessons of the... Uh, sorry, what did you call it? You called it the uh, geno psychogenetic, or uh, I, I call it neurogenesis. So I've definitely, especially in the last couple of weeks, have designed what I've been manifesting as this made-up revolution that's going to take place called silly life. Um, it's everything that you were just talking about. It's a life of consciousness. It's a life of not depleting yourself with alcohol and other products that don't empower you. Um, my truth is with the type of feedback that we are getting and what I am seeing in a revolutionary fashion, uh, products like this are going to be available very, very soon. Obviously, everything has to be done with the according to the letter of the law. But, you know, we are already seeing places in Costa Rica, Jamaica, Obviously, Canada, you guys already have dispensaries opened up in Vancouver. Uh, I think what I would like to see is that this gets done in a fashion other than the way cannabis got done. Because right now, what, what has happened with cannabis is we have a bunch of uh, high, you know, we have a bunch of bankers that are controlling an industry. And when you ask them, like, uh, do you sell clean label product or what is organic to you, uh, the the reply is unaccountable. And, you know, I'm not trying to put anybody down, but we want to make sure that the humanoid population gets the best product possible without fillers and buffers in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've got a long road to hoe, and uh, I'm glad to see that uh, I'm coming to see you in Hawaii just as soon as we can put this I, I, together. I, 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 I actually can't wait. I think we would have the time of our lives. I guarantee I mean, it. <laughs> I yeah, guarantee yeah, it. Yeah. And, and, when, and when I say humanoids, I don't mean it in a bad way. But yes, there's a, I call it Death Star. There's mm -hmm. almost like this humanoid population that doesn't want to let the light workers come together and provide you know, great products that are accessible everywhere. Wow. Um, yeah, there's uh, the, the fact that we allow companies to give us processed sugar and, you know, feed methamphetamines to our children when they have things 
that are like ADD and ADHD, that's a major problem. And right. that's really what drives me every day. David, let me just say thank you very much for joining us. And I will be back to you very soon. Yeah, looking forward to it. Aloha, brother.